Dave, huge congratulations. What a seesaw game that was behind and found an absolute blockbuster to win it. Just try and sum up how you're feeling for us. Well, I'm over the moon. Um, it's like I was talking to Roger before we came into the venue that I always start slow on like these TV tournaments where it's 56. Did it again. And um, it, look for me, he, he bust that score and I had the chance to get 5-4. Five, uh, five, the old and just one of them shots. I missed it. I missed it early on, so I thought I'd go that way again. And it, look at me, it went in. We've seen Ryan capitulate under pressure at times, especially at the Players Championship. He blew a big lead. When you got back into at that moment at 5 4, did you sense the game was there for you? No, I didn't think I, was, I didn't think that. Was, I just had all my own darts getting 5 4, 5 all to be fair. Then, it's look at the pop then, it's look at the dry. One big check out from me and win me the game and that's what I did. Preferred a 140 before I hit before to leave 161 was a needed needed shot to be done. It's a big year for yourself. You've dropped out the top 16, which is scandalous for someone of your ability. One, does that hurt that you've dropped out? And two, how do you put it right? Yeah, obviously it hurts, but I've just got to work no work. Do what I did last year. I thought I had a great year last year on the floor. And tell you, tell you, tournaments were that good, but just, just do better than tell tournaments. I'll, I'll be back in that 16, no problems. I, I'm not worried. But I'm going to do a lot this year. I'm going to practice more than I normally do. And I'll, I'll make sure I get back in that top 16. Thank you, Roger. Thank you. Thank you. Dave, this is an event that you've got pedigree in, two-time finalist. You get a good feeling when you come back here to Milton Keynes to start the season. Yeah, it's like, it's one, it's like this tournament's a good tournament for me. I always do quite well. You get past that first round and you never know. You get more more of a chance than when it's the best of 19. It's like, it's like the Grand Prix. I, I do well in that tournament. get past the first round when it's a, a low, low format. I do well in that. So, yeah, I, I love coming here. I love playing here. What's the preparation been like since the World Championship as well for this new season? It's just been the same. I do the same things. I look after my children. I have my practice with the boys on a Tuesday night. I've got when I make to see if I'm, if it's my turn, I'll put, put it in the oven and I'll wait and just throw that for half hour till it's cooked. That's all really, but I'll put more time in for this year to just get back in the top 15. Do you look at Michael Smith and take a lot of inspiration from what he's done recently? He's got that first major under his belt and all of a sudden the floodgates have opened. Do you think that could potentially happen for you? Listen, that's all that lad. <laughs> Me and Eddie Deason uh, took him under our wing. Fair play to the lad, he's done great. I'm, I'm one of the most... But one of the most people who's more happy for him than who's not happy for him. But he deserves what, what he's got. He, he, he works hard for him. He practices a lot more than what most that players do. So yeah, he deserves it and good luck to him. I hope he stays up there for a long time. Dave, you talked about Michael's practice there and the amount of practice that he put in to become world champion. Does that inspire you to put more in to, to achieve so, so, those sort of things? Yeah, it inspires me, but I like spending time with children as well. You know what I mean? It's, it's, hard, it's hard to put so much practice in and look after your children. So I, I swing it round, so I do a bit, do a bit. It's whatever I can do, I do. I'm happy the way, the way I'm way I'm playing, the way I'm practicing. I, like I said, I've always said darts is luck as well as being good. And um, Mike, Mike Smith had a little bit of luck. He could have got beat twice, but he didn't. And that, that, that's, that's what I'm just saying. I'm not, saying, I'm not putting out down to Mike Smith how bad he is. He's, he deserves what he's got and, and I, I'm happy with him. But I've always said darts is, is luck as well, not just how you play, your ability. These three days in Milton Keynes, is it a real chance for a, a positive start to the season for you? Yeah, def after that game, yeah, definitely. I, I missed the 164, the 161 in a couple of legs before, and I got my first leg. I thought, I get through, if I get through this, I'll probably go far. Cheers, Dave. Cheers. Dave, you had eight 140s in the last four legs found some, found some form at the right time there. yeah that's uh, that's power scoring a bit good to do it 180s but I've always said that 180s you can get you down but you con constantly hit 140 you get down so quick so yeah good scoring
And standing on the hockey there of the last last leg, you were slightly behind. Did you think that you'd get a chance to check out and win the match? Well, when he hit that one, 140 to lead the 161, I think he was on 167 as well. I just, I just said, give me a shot and I'll, I'll pop it. Safely into the next round, who would you like to uh, face in the next round? I want to say safely, but yeah, I'm into the next round and I've got Pete Wright, haven't I? So, we played it, we played it a few times to be fair. So yeah, it should be a good game. Okay.